Hello everyone and welcome to What Culture Gaming. I'm Josh, joined today by Kirsten to bring you some delicious, delectable, some amazing Silent Hill news because this is the rumour that just won't quit. We know that something Silent Hill related has to be happening because there's been too many different rumours suggesting that, well, something is going on. But today we've got one from Reset Era and a comment which has essentially reconfirmed that a Silent Hill reboot, not Silent Hills, is in development. Now, before I jump into the exact details of what this might be and how it's going ahead, Kirsten, is this good news? What do you want from Silent Hill? Because I know you're a big fan, but do you want a reboot or would you have liked to see um, PT, you know, uh, be revived and continued essentially? Yeah, I mean, I would have loved to have seen PT because I remember when I saw that trailer come out, I'm, I'm pretty sure I weed myself a little bit. It was... <laughs> I was so excited and then the fact that they had Norman Reedus in it and, and I actually never got to play PT because by the time I'd got round to trying to get it, it just disappeared off the face of the earth. So I never even got to play it. So all I've managed to see is what other people have played and, and it just looked absolutely terrifying. And that's the whole point of Silent it Hill. It just, it, it's supposed to scare the living bejeebas out of you. Um, but however, I, I would, I don't know, PT looked amazing and I think because they took that away it would be nice to have that and to be able to play a game that not a lot of people got to play. So I would like to see PT but at the same time remaking the old one with like how they've done with Resident Evil would be fantastic and it would look incredible as well. So I'm not sure, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck between the two to be honest. I want to, I, I think I'm leaning more towards PT because you kind of know what's going on in the old one because we have played it. Whereas like I said, a lot of people yeah. didn't get to play B PT so it would be nice to actually play the game that we were promised and then was very rudely taken away from us so. <laughs> Well, well, I might be able to change your mind or I might be able to, you know, make you happy because okay. both might be happening. But I've got a load of rumours um, to go through, so I should do some history first. And sorry if I'm looking down a lot because there is a lot of history and information I need to get through. So this initially came up because in early March there were a bunch of rumours popping up that were suggesting that Sony were potentially going to buy Konami outright and get Silent Hill along with Metal Gear Solid and Castlevania. And then there were two rumours that there were going to be the two games. There was going to be Silent Hills and there was going to be a Silent Hill reboot by two different teams. But then Konami essentially came out and said, look, that's not happening. We've got nothing in development. But like I said, this won't die. And then over on Reset Era recently, um, someone commented saying that the only thing I can 100% confirm is the Silent Hill reboot with uh, Toyama, Ito, in Yamoko. It'll be announced soon within the next few months. So that's essentially someone saying that, you know, the Silent Hill reboot is definitely, definitely going ahead, but they're not sure about Silent Hills. And, and this has been actually verified. Reset Era is a, is a forum that isn't just something like, you know, Reddit or uh, 4chan, where sometimes, you know, legit information pops up, but these are, the people on this forum are, you know, the people in the industry, they're journalists, they're developers. Yeah. And this information actually has has been um, verified by the staff at Reset Era, so that lends it, you know, some credence. So pretty mm. much, this is a source we can trust. So <laughs> that Finally. is that is exciting. And the names um, that they mentioned there are all really important as well. So let me get this um, up uh, correctly. They are all former big Team Silent main players who created the original um, Silent Hill games. You know, Silent Hill One, Two, and Three, and Four, and then um, development was moved uh, to different studios. But um, let me get this right. Uh, I'm so sorry if I mangle all these names. I'm terrible at pronouncing, you know, my own name, never mind anyone else's. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Kiichiro uh, Toyama, he actually created Silent Hill but left after the first game. Masahiro Ito was the artist responsible for most of the original designs, so like Pyramid Head, all of the, uh, you know, signature the Silent ones. Hill designs. <laughs> All the good ones, yeah. And Akira Yamayoko uh, was the composer and sound designer of the original games as well. So essentially, uh, this rumor suggests that the original big players are back to either reimagine Silent Hill, reboot it entirely, or remake the original games. And I'm not sure which one I'd rather like. I think I would like a full reimagining from the original team, but the amount of talent there. I would yes. take literally anything, and this mm. has gotten me excited because Silent Hill has been a, has been a franchise that's just kind of been underserved over the past few years. Like we mentioned, there PT was cancelled, and all of the other games. You know, there's been some good ones over the past ten years, but a lot of them have felt 
uninspired and like they were lacking the resources or the imagination to create something genuinely special. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. And I think, like you said, because they're, they are using the original you know, people as well. That's just so much more comforting because there's nothing worse than when they're like, we're going to remake Silent Hill or Resident Evil or whatever. And then you find out that literally no one who have worked on any of the other games are involved. And it's like, well, how do they even know what they're doing? And, and that's what you want. You want to know that they are sticking to what they know. And they are very clearly very good at what they do so like you said even if they made something completely new and a, a completely like a, original game it's still going to be good because they clearly very very much know what they're doing <laughs> and they're going to make yeah, something 100%. terrifying hopefully <laughs> I, I really hope so like again i know it's not the same but going back to um pt that is still the scariest game i've ever played and it's I've, I've played, you know, the likes jealous. of Resident Evil 7 in VR. Oh, yeah, yeah, not to rub it in or anything, Kirsten, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've just got a, I've got a PlayStation in the back room that's got it on. It's not doing anything, oh, not to not, not, so to, not to brag or anything like that. I'll have to ship it off to you somehow, yes, you know, when the, when the isolation <laughs> ends. Um, but, yeah, I, I want something that goes back to the core terrifying mm -hmm. roots, but also that is, you know, like Silent Hill 1 and 2, they're rooted in symbolism and, you know, metaphor, and it's more than just the monsters. The monsters mean something in the stories mm -hmm. themselves, especially 2, I, I love 2, it's one of my favourite games, is, are so melancholy and woven in with the actual gameplay in an interesting way. So the idea is that this is happening, it's going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive, which for me would be a huge win. Yes. Like. The PlayStation as a whole and Sony have been cultivating this, you know, this sea of exclusives that are all amazing and have been, you know, essentially putting everything into these games that you can only play on the PlayStation 4 or mm -hmm. the PlayStation 5 or whatever. And that's why people come to their console. And if they yeah. get something as big as Silent Hill, not to mention the rumors suggesting they might also get Metal Gear and Castlevania, that would be great. I'm yes. sure it will cause some uproar because everyone wants Silent Hill to come back and if it comes back only for one specific console that would that would kind of suck I want everyone to play it but mm. if it's if this is the only way it's going to happen then I'm all for it 100% yeah. yeah definitely and the thing is as well like I think games like Silent Hill they you know it originated on the PlayStation so why not keep it to the PlayStation you know and if you don't like that then you just have to get both you know you have to break your, your little cycle I personally used to be an Xbox person but then, you know, like I said, PlayStation, they started to release Plus and they started to release some really amazing games that were only PlayStation exclusives. So you just kind of have to bite the bullet, really, and be like, screw it. If Silent Hill is only on the PlayStation, I will buy a freaking PlayStation <laughs> to play it. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, you, like you said, when it comes to franchises like this, and Metal Gear to an extent, um, like the, 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 even if they weren't always exclusive to the PlayStation, mm -hmm. they are linked to the PlayStation. When you think of you know, that brand, you think of titles like this that might not, might not necessarily have been you know, first party or totally exclusive, but uh, everyone has fond memories of playing you know, Silent Hill on the regular PlayStation, or Silent Hill 2 mm -hmm. on the PlayStation 2, or PT, on the um, uh, PlayStation 4. Well, some of us do. Except Kirsten, but, uh, me. <laughs> except you, yeah. The, the, the final little addendum to this is that we, we more or less know now that the Silent Hill reboot is happening, but mm -hmm. going back to Silent Hills, Kojima is working on something. He's working on a horror game. We know that Norman Reedus has said that he's had talks with Kojima about working in his next game. We know that Kojima is, you know, tangibly trying to make the scariest game anyone's ever played. So if he's not making Silent Hills, I, what could he be making? Because I, I, I trust him whatever he does. Mm. But if, if this rumor is true and Sony has the brand as an exclusive, it it makes sense that they could use that again to you know get Kojima in and say look this game was cancelled why don't you make it I don't know whether it'll do that because there was allegedly a lot of bad blood between him and Konami as a company but I, I feel like that imagine the win imagine like oh. the pop at E3 next year if that was re-unveiled alongside a reboot at Silent Hill everyone would everyone would lose their minds oh and I God. imagine that would help sales of the PlayStation 5 just immensely it would be absolutely incredible and like i said i think we have our trust in him he's very he's a very talented man um and what he's done with norman reedus so far has been really good and enjoyable whether it you know makes sense with death stranding stranding death stranding, stranding. whether they're stranding feels very posh <laughs> um it, you know, I still very much enjoyed it, and I know some people didn't really understand it, but I enjoyed it. So, like you said, we've just got to have that trust in him. He knows what he's doing. He's a very talented man. So, 
even if he came out with something completely irrelevant and completely not Silent Hills or PT or anything, if he promises it's going to be terrifying, then I'm here for it and I'm ready. I'm yeah, so yeah. ready to go. <laughs> That, that, that's the beauty of that, I suppose. At the, at the very least, um, going off what we've learned today and what we already know, we know that Kojima is working on a horror game that is going to be absolutely terrifying whether or not it's Silent Hill, and it looks like we're going to get something Silent Hill related from the original creators that also should be amazing. So to me, this is good news. This yes. is a good way to you know go into this bank holiday weekend <laughs> with some um, positivity. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Would you be up for a Silent Hill reboot or would you rather a remake of the original game? And of course, do you want Silent Hills to come back? I think the answer is yes. Either way, <laughs> could you give us a comment and a like, share, subscribe and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't though, I've been Josh, joined by Kirsten and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.